Hi, Kantamir. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. Good. My name is Rama from ramascreen.com. Congratulations on your film, Beanpole. Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, <laughs> this film has gone through festival circuits, uh, Cannes, uh, TIFF, I believe, and now AFI. How does it feel to bring your film uh, through all these events? Well, it's it feels like a privilege, uh, and I really appreciate it. Uh, and it's really important to to show the film to different audience and uh, to listen and feel the feedbacks, different feedbacks. It's really important. Mm -hmm. And um, I had the chance to screen it recently. Lovely film. Um, I want to ask. Why did you want to tackle this uh, particular story? And I know it's inspired by a book. Yeah. Can you talk a bit about uh, how did that come to be? Why this particular story? Uh, well, because uh, after the book, I found interest in uh, the fact that uh, the human being uh, who can give a birth by biological way went to the war and have been surrounded by death during three, four, five years and return to the so-called peaceful life and how they how they managed it, uh, how they struggled with it, struggled with uh, someone's opinions. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got obsessed with this idea and want to share my experience. Yeah, and this is your second film, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I also read that the uh, the two leading ladies are newcomers. Um, was that always the the intention from the start to cast uh, people who are fresh and new instead of actors who are established? Well, it's like 50-50, kind of, of course. Uh, but the major thing for me to find some uh, trauma inside of my characters uh, not physically trauma, but I mean uh, personal traumas or something like that, because trauma makes us unique. And uh, yeah. And uh, what is it about Vasilisa and Victoria that made you decide these are the ladies perfect for that for the roles? Well, we made some rehearsals, and they have chemistry between them. Uh, they have really interesting faces, uh, and. They are good actresses. Excellent, I agree. Uh, there have been many uh, stories and films out there regarding post-war, um, you know, dramas, and also tackling PTSD and trauma. What makes you think, in your opinion, Bean Paul that unique, that is unique, or that stands out compared to the rest? Well, I really want to think that our film is unique, but uh, it's not to me who decided, and I think uh, the time will decide. Is our film good or bad? Mm. But I, I find it that uh, because it tackles psychological drama regarding the women, that makes it stands out, correct? I think so, maybe, yeah. 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 Now, do, do you, um, I don't know, how do you, because you know, the, the movie also tackles about the roles of women in society regarding that uh, time and place in the history. And it speaks about like, uh, oh, the a birth of a baby can bring them kind of happiness, can bring them kind of a, sort of like a medicine to the soul um, and how that role of women has evolved in society over the years. Uh, did you have any, I don't know, maybe did you consult with uh, some women before you tackle that uh, aspect of the, the film? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, Masha wants, uh, she wants to cure herself to give in some, someone a birth. It's not... It's a little bit different because she wants to cure from the death to giving someone birth. It's uh, mm. a little bit, a little bit different. And uh, no, I didn't have, I didn't have a consult to someone uh, because, as my master said, Alexander Sukurov, he always told us that uh, if when you're working on on the character on the story, you should be gender neutral. Oh. So. Maybe that's why I didn't consult it. Yeah. <laughs> that's an interesting perspective. Thank you for sharing that. So as I'm winding down, um, I want to ask you, because this is my first time interviewing with you, uh, what are the influences out there Influence that influence you as a filmmaker, your style, your way of directing? What are your influences? Uh, uh, as a my favorite films, my influences. Sure. Yeah. Well, if we're talking about this particular film, it's uh, my friend Van Wapshin. Alexei German, it's Warisha Shepichko's film uh, Wings. Uh, 
Breaking the Waves. It's uh, one of my favorite movies, especially in, in the term of female character. Uh, so yeah, this is the three major things that influenced me when I was working on the on this film. What about the uh, the interesting fact that it has the color palette of green and ochre, uh, like golden yellow that this movie has? Where does that come from? Uh, from the diaries, from the researches, uh, and from the Dutch paintings, uh, because mm -hmm. I found this the mixing of these colors I found really interesting for our story because ochre it's like a rust. It's like a color of trauma and green it's like a birth a hope uh, so yeah we tried to mix these colors and get some dynamics all right and uh, what do you hope the audience will take away from the themes of being poor i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to be a dictator and tell what they should bring or what they should feel or think i don't know i would really I just really hope that the film will touch their minds, their the, the, the so, they, they souls and hearts. Yeah. Nice stuff. That's Last question, sir. Um, what is your advice for my fans out there who are aspiring filmmakers, trying to break into the business, trying to make their own films? Well, uh, I think it's a little bit serps like what I'm going to say, but it's really important not to give up. But... Uh, the the most important thing to uh, doubt in yourself. It's really important not to be shown one hundred percent in yourself because uh, when you doubt, it could be uh, how to say the director should get sh should have some borders, yeah. and these borders allows you to be a more creativity person. Gotcha. Final final question. Can you give us exclusive? What's your uh, third movie gonna be well, about? I don't, I don't know yet. I'm just, I'm searching, I'm reading, I'm trying to get some spark of uh, inspiration. Right, well, thank you so much, sir. Congratulations. Thanks so much.